Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna give an update on what cryptocurrencies I'm currently mining and why. So you guys know I like to be really transparent with you, so I'm gonna give you an update in this video of everything I'm mining with my entire home mining farm. Not too much has changed from the video I made on this a few months ago, but I thought it'd still be fun to update you and talk through what I'm doing and if any of my perspective has changed. We'll go over everything that I'm mining here. We'll go over how solo mining's doing, so stay tuned for that later in this video. And that's it, let's get started. So I'm gonna switch over here. You're gonna look at my awesome miner, which has all of my GPU rigs in it. So we're gonna take a look. And you can see the top rigs here, the 3070 rig, 6600 XT rig, a lot of these are mining Ethereum. And that's probably not a big surprise, right? Ethereum is the most profitable cryptocurrency on the vast majority of GPUs right now. So that's why I'm mining it. It's profitable. And for me, I still continue to sell a little bit to pay off the hardware that I've invested in in this last year, as well as I like to diversify where my Ethereum goes. So I like staking, which I do on Coinbase, in the Celsius app on Uniswap. And Ethereum is one of the cryptocurrencies that I think you can mine that you can really put to work in a lot of different places to gain more Ethereum. So that is one of the reasons. The second reason is because I won't be able to mine it later this year. From everything I've seen, we're still on track for June for the merge to happen and you will not be able to mine Ethereum anymore. So I wanna get as much of it as I can with my GPUs until that point. Staking Ethereum as a full node is something I really want to do. You need 32 Ethereum to do that. I'm sure there'll be staking pools. There might already be some staking pools out there, but I'd like to be able to run one full node. I think that'd be really, really cool. So continuing to mine Ethereum, sell a little bit, stake a little bit, hold a lot for the long term. And that's what the vast majority of my GPUs are doing, but not every single one. So let's take a look further. We're going to skip on down to the 3070 Ti rig which you can see is mining Autolycus 2. That's the algorithm for Ergo. And I'm doing that via NiceHash. And I'll talk to you about why. So that 3070 Ti rig runs really, really hot. And the Autolycus 2 algorithm, Ergo's algorithm, is really friendly to GDR6X GPUs. Keeps them running really cool. I have them really power limited, so I'm not running into any thermal throttling or VRAM temperatures. And I'm stacking Bitcoin to do that. This is definitely not the most profitable use of those GPUs. The best thing for me to do, which has been in the works for too long, is to get those GPUs out, replace thermal pads. I actually have eight total on all eight of them and get them mining something else, whether that's Ethereum with the LHR partial unlock or one of the ProgPow based algorithms that, that are Raven or Firo. I got to get them doing something else. I'd really like to get them contributing to solo mining, which we'll talk about next. The other thing I'm considering is getting all eight of them in an eight GPU server case and just seeing if the server case fans blasting air through those GPUs is enough for me to mine Ethereum or any other algorithm without having to replace the thermal pads. So I want to test that soon, but in the meantime, that's what they're doing just so they're getting some money coming in. But I really need to do something with them because that is definitely not the most profitable way to mine with those GPUs. So that's what they're doing right now. Let's talk about what else I have going on. So you can see I have a single 3070 Ti on Firo solo mining. My 3060 rig is solo mining Firo. And then there's another lone uh, 3060 down here solo mining Firo. And we can take a look. I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing here, which is actually really, really good, in my opinion. You see, I actually just hit a block recently. That's why my personal luck score is so low. And just a refresher on luck, if you were doing exactly what you should be doing based on your network hash rate, probably exactly what a pool would be paying you out, you would be exactly 100% luck. If you come in under 100% luck, that means you are getting more payouts, hitting more blocks for your hash rate than you statistically should be. And that has been the case for me. I've been incredibly lucky. If you look down here, everything that's in green, I'm coming in significantly under 100% luck. I had a couple bad days the end of December, but after that, it's just been crushing it. And you can see I've had a couple times where I hit blocks almost right after the block before it, and I get a 0% luck. Same thing happened up here. A couple blocks later, I hit the next block. And just for the last 16 blocks, my personal luck score is 81%, percent 
which I think is really, really good. And part of the reason I think this is happening is the network hash rate is all over the place. You're looking at the next month, we're over here, uh, the last month, we're over here on two miners, and you can see these spikes and dips. And I think what I found is that I'm really taking advantage of some of these dips in the net hash. I'm not timing it or anything, but I found that the blocks that I'm hitting seem to be a lot during these really low network hash rate uh, times. And I don't think that's a surprise, right? That's pretty much how it should be working. There's less competition. My rigs aren't going anywhere. So I should get luckier during those times when the network hash rate drops. And the reason I'm continuing to mine Firos, I love solo mining. It's just a ton of fun, but I'm still working towards that master node. And I'm now over halfway there. Uh, and the master node is a thousand Firo. So just something else to diversify into, get my cryptocurrency working for me and making more crypto. I just have a lot of fun doing it. So that's why I'm continuing to mine Firo. All right, let's talk about the last thing that I am mining. So going back to here on Awesome Miner, you can see the ASIC that I have in my garage. Still mining Bitcoin on that. Uh, it's still profitable, but I will say this. With the price going down and with the network hash rate of Bitcoin continuing to rise, profitability gets lower week by week. Not a surprise there, right? The price, If the price goes up, it's a non-issue. But when you look at the Bitcoin hash rate chart, this is going back the last six months, you can just see, right? New ASICs come online, more efficient ASICs, more ASICs come online. That's just going to always happen with Bitcoin unless the price just drops significantly like it did during the last bear market. But more hardware is coming online. So any hardware you have is getting outdated. That's just, that's just how all of that works with Bitcoin. Um, so ASICs get phased out much quicker, I think, than probably GPUs would on the other side of the equation. But that's it, guys. That's everything that I'm mining right now and the reasons why I'm mining it. I would love to hear from you down in the comments section. Do you have any questions or what are you mining right now? Are you doing any spec mining, doing any solo mining, or are you straight on Ethereum thinking about the merge happening uh, this upcoming June as of making this video? Let me know down in the comments section down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. And join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. As always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.